just a quick video today for the Quasi DB service. Just to really tell you about how good the FXCM trading station is. What's really cool is that it has uh, two, actually three awesome things. There's a thing called the SSI snapshot, and then there's SSI indicator. And this is the retail over time their movement. So we can see, uh, so there they sold. And you can see what happened. <laughs> so uh, it's really useful. There was some chop here and there was some chop there. But when they finally committed to their shorts, uh, up it soared. And so that's the one really good thing. Use the 21 day moving average to move across from below above to sell. And when it crosses from above to below, then it's a buy. So uh, currently we crossed the 21 day. Um, the second cool thing is the SSI snapshot. Uh, this is all free, by the way. Um, what you want to see is moving across time. So if it's red, then it's a sell. If it's green, it's a buy. And if you had a position in the S&P and it's a long position, you'd want that number to go away from zero. So you want it to 3.6, 3.7. Four, five, six. The more it goes this way, the more bearish the retail guys are. And now, what's happening with um, DAX? It's going this way as well. They're actually selling. So, because they're selling, we're looking at a, a rally. Um, FTSE. So the FTSE is actually is a sell. So you just want to really just if you're trading, you want confirmation over time. And time's the crucial factor. There's a dollar Swiss is actually as a sell. But if we go away over here and we go towards zero, it's become a buy. If it goes this way, it's a buy. And uh, if it goes this way, it's a buy. But if it goes that way, it's a sell. Okay. <laughs> so it's just all about what happens over time. Just look at the numbers. And last but not least is the average long price and average short price. So euro USD. So anything above that line, it tells us that the, the, the bulls are profiting. So that would be unusual because it went above that. It was like a warning sign. And this is the break even for the bears. So we should see price in between those two values. And if you're quite savvy, what you could do, you could do a fib between the two and get like a natural rest in place. 115.29. Now that's the point where these guys... Are like losing and then these guys are losing this is the median point between the two values so 115.29 if you saw my video yesterday i said that we should find price around below here it looks like we're going that way so yeah you can just use your fib for that it's just something maybe you could do um so technically we're up at, we're in an uptrend so we should see some support on the kumo cloud there's your 50 percent there and that's due to occur at the end of the month so we're still quite bullish but we want to check the sentiment as well so it's just a really quick video this is why this is an essential application for the quasi db service uh, because it's free and uh, definitely get it and you can get it and you'll stay on top of um, your competitors and your peers so it's important that you know what your peers are doing if you don't know what they're doing you're trading blind and by subscribing to the spreadsheet, then you'll have a huge overview, like an eagle eye overview of the FX market and indices as well. So uh, it's definitely useful. Get this. It's free and it's amazing. So, um, yeah, and I hope you have a good day. And I'll do a technical video tomorrow and a sentimental video on Wednesday. All right. See you.